Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. We're out foraging again. It's the end of July and we're in Shropshire. And I found a mushroom here that uh, we always talk about on our courses um, because we love to teach people about the Belitus family. And uh, this one down here is one that we always talk about. Now, if we have a look at him, you can see he's a Belitus. He's got the sponge under the cap and he looks like a nice edible member of the family because we always tell people to stay away from the Belitas family if there's any red on the mushroom or if it stains blue when you cut it in half. So I'll cut this one, give it a little slice, show you what happens. The flesh with this one doesn't discolour at all. In fact, in a lot of ways, this mushroom looks like our favourite, the penny bun, the uh, porcini. Um, there is a bit of a difference on the stem. I'm not sure if the camera is quite good enough to see that, but you can see the mesh on the stem of this mushroom, just like there's a mesh on the stem of the porcini, but on the porcini, that mesh would be white. With this mushroom, the mesh is quite clearly dark, which is what alerted me to the fact that this was the bitter belit. Uh, Tylopilus phileus or Belitus phileus and this mushroom is uh, the scourge of many a stew because uh, it is named the bitter belit for a very good reason. It's not poisonous so this is what we always tell people if you find this mushroom and you eat it you're not really going to poison yourself and uh, you would find it very hard to eat very much of the mushroom at all because it's disgusting in flavour. It's very very bitter. Um, so we always warn people about this mushroom, it's uh, it's reasonably rare in Britain. It's it's classed as occasional, so you well you might well find it if you're out foraging in uh, the right sort of places through July into September, maybe even a little bit later. But if you do find it, uh, I wouldn't recommend eating it. There's much much tastier edible mushrooms around. Uh, that's enough about this one. I'm going to go and find some that I do want to eat. If you want to find out more about mushrooms, go to www.wildfooduk.com.